Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. Let's take a look what's going on on the Forex calendar today. Very important data had been published from Australia in the form of the interest rate decision uh, made um, uh, half past four in the morning. And as you can see, we have a uh, increase of the rate hike from 3.35 to 3.60 as expected. Retail sales data uh, improved uh, very well uh, from minus 0.4% uh, to the 1.9% in line with the expectations. Uh, of course, the uh, next very important event except the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision is the Fed uh, Chair Powell, Jerome Powell testify um, uh, in front of the uh, Senate at four o'clock p.m. Uh, today. And then of course we got data from the um, EAI short term energy outlook scheduled for release at 6 uh, p.m. So kind of an interesting day. Uh, some important data had been released. Some important data are waiting um, for the release. And uh, in that situation, let's take a look at the Australian uh, dollar to see what's happened after the interest rate decision. For our chart of the Australian dollar, from the broader perspective, um, is looking bearish. From the February, beginning of the February 2023, we keep making lower highs and keep making lower lows. Just recently, the market entered this kind of a horizontal uh, cycle uh, located uh, between um, the, the levels of the technical support and technical resistance are located between, let's say, 6,698 and 6786 so the overall the range is not that big um, nevertheless as we can see here uh, we are still trading as well below 50 and uh, below 100 periods moving averages. So let me just uh, point out the range here so we can have the clear picture what is going on here. And let's just jump to the recent uh, developments on the Australian uh, dollar. What we can see here is that after the interest rate decision, the Australian dollar decreased um, uh, towards the the lows, it, it, it even uh, briefly broke the low by two pips. And nevertheless, it's not enough uh, for the best to uh, to, ca to, to count it as a valid breakout. It, the, the, the daily candle must close below this level in order to, to have the new uh, local low and the downtrend continuation signal. Uh, nevertheless, the momentum reversed sharply right now 36 points only so this is a negative momentum bears are in control of this market we are below moving averages we are close to this technical support very important technical support and it looks like the market wants to break this level and move uh, lower so what do we have here basically is the situation where the bearish pressure is still high and we should expect a lower levels like for example 6689 or the lows from the December 2022, 6,653, or even 6,632. Uh, the volatility on the Australian dollar is not that great. The difference between this low and this low is only roughly 20 pips. Between this one and this one is roughly um, 30 pips, so it's not that bad. Nevertheless, if we take a look at the Australian dollar from the broader perspective, we can clearly see that there was some kind of a reverse are made on the beginning of the February this year and since then the market lost lost um, uh, plenty of the territory uh, especially of course boots lost this territory let me take a look at the, the price range so right now from the top to the recent bottom we got roughly 6.43 percent that's um, that's not um, a great number nevertheless it's not a small number either so it looks like this recent development to the downside might be continued soon on the australian dollar to the um, us uh, dollar we got some data from the uh, from the us as well so let's take a look at the us dollar index 
four hour chart of the US dollar index is showing us a signs of a weakness. Why? Because just recently we got this inverted hammer pattern here. Let me just zoom in for you guys to see uh, clear. Uh, we got this inverted hammer pattern, which is always a bad sign. Uh, we got this uh, pin bar here in the middle of the uh, trading, uh, trading uh, range uh, uh, in the middle of the movement to the downside. We are approaching the last local local low uh, located at 104.06. Uh, we broke below 50 and 100 periods moving average, and it looks like the momentum, which is now at the level of 35 point, is clearly indicating bears are in charge of this market when we zoom out we can see the current situation more clear the market broke the price broke below the moving averages but there is no cross uh, of the moving averages yet nevertheless it still looks like this market is going to uh, test some very important uh, technical support. The last important technical support uh, is located around 103.93 and there is one more level here located around 103.73. So this is the zone under which the market um, will definitely um, go lower if, if, if broken of course. And eventually, let me just show you the next target, 102.61. Uh, uh, in the situation of the uh, breakout, right below this, uh, uh, one of this, this line. So let me just uh, make it green so we know what we are talking about. Definitely, there you go. If we break below these two levels on the US dollar index, um, the market will hit definitely the uh, extremely oversold conditions nevertheless it would um, add more momentum uh, to the downside as well because uh, some sort of the uh, some, uh, some part of the bulls will just throw a towel and uh, switch to the uh, to the other uh, side so please keep an eye on the us dollar index right now is under the pressure which is why the further gains on the us dollar and through the gains on the uh, british pound are possible and all of the other pairs related to the uh, to the uh, us dollar let's now take a look at the crude oil to see what is going on as you can see us dollar index is going down so what is going up of course the crude oil we got this uh, technical resistance here 80.60 and now is violated and the local high was 80.86 uh, we are waiting for another rally another leg to the upside towards this level of 82.47 um, 82.50 somewhere there this market uh, should um, have the uh, the target for now at least for the uh, lower uh, time frames there is no uh, no sign of a candlestick pattern some some sort of the maybe reversal candlestick pattern or trend termination candlestick pattern not yet we are still move, moving moving up the uh, 50 and 100 periods moving averages are way below the current price 77.23 and 77.52 respectively the momentum is strong uh, the momentum is just ab uh, around the level of 70 right now is 65 so there is still a slight room for the improvement of the momentum which is why we are targeting 80 uh, there was 82.42 82.45 level as the target you know, for boots on the uh, crude uh, crude oil from the bigger perspective if we take a look here you can see that this is still one big trading range. Uh, let me just switch to the daily because it will be much, much better. There you go on daily. There is no reversal uh, candlestick pattern as well. There was a twist at the top um, around uh, 73, but that was a long time ago. And we are still trading inside of this, this range here located between roughly $70 and $82, uh, $83. Uh, so it's been going on like this since the beginning of the December last year. And it looks like if there is no breakout 
uh, to either direction the market will continue the higher time frame trend which is to the uh, downside so far we got this nice breakout above 150 days moving averages nevertheless this market is uh, uh, is looking uh, strongly it's the momentum is, is still strong on a daily time frame chart it's looking very very bullish however please notice the fact that um, that was the same situation during the last one to three bounces and the market reverses so only if the market would uh, break above 80 let's say 82.45 83 dollars per barrel we might say that the longer term uh, down move is uh, now terminated and the market might start some sort of the correction to the upside towards the higher prices uh, higher levels of the crude oil prices that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye